Welcome back to FLXP Reviews. My name is Dan. My name is Mike. Dan, please tell me what we're drinking because I want to get it in me so fast. Oh, buddy. <laughs> we are in for a treat. I hope so. Uh, this is from the Eyinger Brewing Company, and or Eyinger Brewing. Okay. Uh, this is their Celebrator. Uh, it's, a, it's a German Doppelbach coming at 6.7 <sighs> ABV. Let's, let's get in there to appreciate this. So, the one thing missing from this bottle, Mike... Tell me. I'm going to tell you. So usually there's a little goat. It's like a Christmas tree ornament or whatever. Where's the and goat? It, and it hangs from the Yeah, where's the goat? Uh, somebody stole it from my bottle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, look at that. It's, just, um, it's a classic. So how, how have I never had this beer before? Because I don't even remember seeing it. Like, and it sounds like everything I want. Uh, so <laughs> I, it, I don't understand. It, it's... I'm not even gonna say who it's brewed and bottled by. Like it's all in like German and Fulfill stuff. Fulfill for the Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, it says dark, malty, and rich. Einger at the foot of the Bavarian Alps is one of the world's most respected breweries. The family owned and operated since 1878. This like, year after I was born. Uh, so there, there's a code. I okay. don't know how to read it as to when it was bottled. Oh, okay. It's just yeah, whatever. That's a weird thing. 258, maybe L1 258. 258, maybe it's Julian Cole. Might be Cole. Code, you know. Yeah, 250. Yeah, okay, whatever. Uh, so, yeah. So, this is an old beer, right? Yeah, tell me about like, it because... This is an old world beer. Everyone's okay. had this beer. Except for we, me. We are late to the Doppelbach game. We are late till. But we like games. this style. Like, it. oh, look at it. Look at that. Um, yeah, so, uh, full transparency. I've had this one. Full transparency. I've had it I've once. Not. I saw... It. Oh, Jesus. So you pour. <laughs> I'll just right, take care right. of mine. But look, it, it's doing its thing, cascading well. Uh, so I had one, and so it's this is those things where you get stuck on a. Uh, so you get stuck on <laughs> you get stuck on a certain style yeah. or in a certain wheelhouse. Uh, even the old school IPAs, like from like Lawson's and everything, oh, we, yeah, we never yeah. try because we were we were late bloomers to the IPA game, and now we're going back and trying all the beers everyone loved back in the day. And this falls into the category of this is some beer from you know foreign beer that we never mess with, and then I try it and I'm like, what have I been missing? This blew my socks off. I'll tell you what, like I feel like this is a this is a beer that we were on the cusp of getting. Back when, especially when I was getting into craft beer, like when you and I first met and we were like going up to beers of the world and we were buying beers like this, but then like right when the, the hazy started coming in and, and your West coast and meets East coast and we we're, at least I was right there. And then it was like, Oh, what are these new style beers? Right. And I right. forgot how much, you know, I love these dark, rich, Isn't melty that, beers. That's like, so sad. That is so sad. You used to go up there and just be so adventurous. Now it's like, where's your hazies? And that's give me all your haze, bro. <laughs> the juicier, uh, the better. Yeah. So, all right, so what, this, what's this looking is, like, Mike? It, it looks cola. It's cola. Yeah, my head is absolutely. Your just, head is looks awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a cola brown. It. I mean, you hold it up to the light, and you're getting that rich it, red mahogany. Yeah, there's red like, mahogany. I can see my fingers through it a little bit. Right. It's definitely. It's like a. Not transparent, but it's semi-transparent. Right. It, it has such a, a hearty look to it. Um, yeah. The head is, your head is definitely, I mean, I've got a half a finger ahead, but it's definitely a little rocky, but it's creamy looking. Oh, it's doing the seat Oh, it's doing the sea turtle. Oh, look at that. Hello. It's just like a mountain of just like. Oh, you're being like. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I need to get away from this, so let's just get away <laughs> Holy Jesus. <laughs> that look. is straight. That is opening up a bag of malt and just burying your face in it and just just sniffing it, dude. It's like chocolate Cheerios. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you ever had chocolate Cheerios? It's sort of what it's like. It smells so good. It's it sweet. Is so All the toffee, caramel. You know, I've had this before once, so I'm going to let you kind of take the reins of what you're... Okay, because because I do have a question before we go on. It is it is there is a rich sweet aspect, and I think the Odi multi like there's a a rich dark chocolate aspect to it. There's a hint of caramel in there. Do you notice how I have a permagrin? <laughs> you got a, you got your treehouse. Is, is this so, so, isn't that refreshing though? 
That yeah, a beer like is. this can I, still give you that pleasure? I, I think it, it. it's a testament to, like, have, have you forgotten about a beer style? Have you forgotten about a uh, just a beer in general you used to love? Like, right. th- this is a, a testament to going back and, like, remembering why you maybe got into craft beer in the first place or learned to, to love craft beer. Um, so, and that, that translates into my question, like, what do you remember from the, the first times you tried this? Do you remember? I remember being... quite well because it was like two weeks ago. <laughs> oh, shit. I thought you were talking about like No. <laughs> it's out of the mix of Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I thought two weeks ago. I thought we were going back into like a decade. So I took the first sip and I'm just like. All right. Never mind. I, we got to do this on the channel. We have to. <laughs> I was waiting for like a 10 year ago story. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Ruined everything. This smells so good. Two You're right. Ago. It's sweet, oaty, grainy yeah. Cheerios. The toffee. The, just... the toffee, the caramel, the malt character. Do you want to it? Yep. Cheers. Oh my gosh, that's so good. <laughs> right? Is it not so, so, so delicious? Okay. Okay. Mike, 6.7 ABV. That's a nice, constant, just not syrupy, but it's just a bit of a thicker mouthfeel. It has, with a slight of carbonation to rush around those beer suds in your mouth. It has the flavors of a heavy twelve percent stout with a lighter body and a lower ABV. And I, I would say, I would say I get that, but I would add to it. But a sweeter, maltier. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying it's got, like, uh, your barrel or Imperial's. But Almost it, it a has... sweetness and malty of, like, a, a, a red, a red ale, or, like, a scotch ale. Oh, very much scotch ale. Absolutely. Oh, my gosh, but, this is so good. So, right off the bat. Talk to me. I'm going to drink this. Your first sip. It's sweet. It's very sweet. And then it translates into just this nice Cheerio esque. I'm getting graham like, crackers. Like, hun- like, like honey graham yeah, crackers. Like honey nut Cheerios uh, mixed with Teddy Grahams. Teddy Grahams is a great. Yeah. With a Teddy bit of like. We're both on the same page. Burnt caramel. Like salted burnt caramel. And then there's a nice bit of carbonation. That just like on the back it end that just keeps ever, like I said, it keeps it rolling. Th- that carbonation is subtle. Like you you don't even think about it until the very end. When when it's sliding down the back of your palate. It's a sugar daddy. It's it, it like it just gives it enough of a pop. It's got a nice drying bitterness at, at the end that wants you to keep coming back. And, and it doesn't even need it because I already want to come back. It's fantastic. It's this fantastic. is easily one of the best beers I've ever had. <laughs> this is so it's good. It's so good. Uh, we don't know a lot in the world of Doppelbox. Why but not? Because from, we from, both like Doppelbox. But from what I've heard, from what I've looked up, mm-hmm. everything, this is in the upper tier of Doppelbox. I can absolutely see that. So, with all that being said, as you sit here and experience <laughs> this beer for the first time, give me it raw, unfiltered, Wu-Tang style. What's your rating? 4.8. Four eight. Mm-hmm. I would say out of five rizzas, uh huh. I'll give it a four and a half rizzas. Okay. I love because we're this down beer. and dirty. I love Game it so much. Son? It's it's fantastic. I love it. Like this beer is so good. This is something I would buy on the regular. Can you imagine eating a nice steak with us or something? Like, I, I can imagine, I mean, just the meal in general and just sipping this and going back in for another yeah. bite, of, bite of meat. And like, this is a bit of a meal in, in itself at 6.7%. This, this could is, almost, like, the sweetness, even though it's not overpowering, yeah. you could almost consider this, like, desserty. And here's the kicker. I think for a four-pack of this at my local Wegmans, I paid... Twelve ninety nine. That is highway robbery. Twelve ninety nine. So for a four pack, I would pay that all day. For all this day. Beer. 
Except I didn't get the goat. We'll get the goat. Trust us. We'll, we'll get, get the, the goat. goat. All right. Uh, yeah, all right. Thanks well, for joining us for another episode of uh, <laughs> As the Beer Swirls. Uh, down in the description the below, beers. hey, we got Twitters, Instagrams, all that good stuff, all the social medias. Email flxbeerreveals at gmail.com. Get a hold of us. Please. Uh, if you've had this beer, let us know. What did you think of it? Uh, if not, go out and get yourself some. I'm going to. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thanks for watching. Cheers.